And joining me this evening on 6 p.m. Prime is Anuj Dhar, historian. Anuj, good evening. Uh, also for our viewers, I'd just like to also put it out there that just before the announcement was made, Anuj on social media had actually led a campaign saying, let's rename Rajput. So I want to begin, Anuj, by understanding why. Why did you believe the time has come to rename Rajput? No, I think better than late than never because the time I thought was like, had come many, many years ago. So we are happy and delighted that the demand has been accepted because for, for a very long time, you know, I think we need to go back to the, uh, since, you know, uh, King George's uh, name is now written, written all over, you know, the, the main uh, road of our, of our country, Rajpath, that used to be. Hmm. Now the whole story, I would say, started back in 65-ish, 65. And we had the King George's statue on the King's Day. And uh, even though after independence, there were demands to have the name change and... Uh, uh, Kingsway was re uh, renamed as Rajpath, which is literal translation of Kingsway. King means George, George VI, and we had George VI statue on the Rajpath next to the India Gate. So the government of India had no intention to, you know, you know, change the name or even even to remove the statue of King George. So the, the the statue of King George was there till 65. It was only after when some followers of Nitaji protested, and they went up, they smeared tar on the face of the King statue, and you know destroyed certain parts of it. It's only then that the government woke up and decided that the statue should be removed. And that started the chain with the reaction. And I think we are today seeing that there have been one after another, three big developments have taken place. We have a Navy flag, which is Indian, which does not have uh, St. George's Cross. Mm -hmm. We have uh, our main road, the main uh, boulevard of our country, which is now has an Indian name, not, not named after the, the King George VI. And also we have, you know, the, uh, the the statue of King George is gone. So, and we will be having Netaji statue for tomorrow. So that's, that's fantastic. And it's better later than ever. This should have happened, let's say, 50, 50 60 years ago. But then uh, we are happy. It's happening today. But uh, Anuj, to, you know, use a very cliched question, what's in a name? Uh, and I'm sure a lot of Indians, the common man, the Aam Aadmi will be saying, you know, what was the big deal? Was there a need to make this kind of a change? For so many years, we've known it as Rajpath. Did the symbolism really matter? It does, does matter. In certain cases, of course, you know, you cannot have, you know, we have, uh, to those who are asking these questions, they should ask first themselves, what was the need to change the name of Connaught Place? Connaught Place was built on a barren piece of land. It was a commercial center. It is nothing to do with British Raj. And they suddenly, one fine morning, they said, we want to change it after Rajiv Gandhi's name. So let's not get into that, that area because we have uh, chin, um, uh, so many names changed. The name of Queen's Way was also changed. So why, why, why Queen's papers changed to, you know, Janpath? Hmm. So this has been a long-standing process. People, you know, the government has been, you know, making changes since uh, 40, 47. But then this was the most important road of our country. You know, it is such a shame that we should be having the statue of King George in the heart of our city. And we should be having the main road named after this particular king. So the reality perhaps also is, Anuj, that many didn't know the history behind the name uh, Rajpath. Because they never taught. Exactly. We were never taught. We are still not taught that what we got in 1947 was the first transfer of power. It was on independence. People are still not aware of the basic fact of history that until 1958, the chief of our Navy was a British, was a British person, officer. The chief mm -hmm. of the Indian Air Force was a British till 55. Shabuto Mukherjee was the first Indian to become the first Indian chief. So there are not many questions about transfer of power which have not been answered. So I just hope and pray this is the starting point and the time has come. There are certain issues which should have been thrashed out. In fact, they were thrashed out, but we didn't have media as formidable as it, it is today. We didn't have social media, so this discussion could not take place. And there's a question of India becoming part of Commonwealth, which was opposed by people of this country. Today, these papers concerning India's joining Commonwealth have disappeared. You know, that brings me to my next question, Anuj, of why it's taken so long. Uh, who wants to, at the end of the day, protect the so-called legacy of British Raj? Nobody does. No, no, people are supporting big time. I mean, people, beginning 1946, 47, people are very much like, and if you talk in terms of the elite class and the ruling class, they were always in support of the British Raj. They, the main aim of their lives uh, back in those days was to settle their families in Vilayat. So they were supporting and backing. They were not fighting for country's freedom. And all these bureaucrats who were serving the British Raj without any hiccups, they became the, the, the new ruling elites in, the, in, the, in our country. So nobody bothered. People were asking and these people were never concerned about. It's only now that uh, maybe the government, this government is paying some attention. 
but the demand was old. People wanted, uh, you know, uh, this statue to be removed. There are many, many naysayers to this name change also. I'm sure you've seen the reactions on social media, Anuj. There are many naysayers overall to the Central Vista project as well. What's your, you know, statement? What's your message to them? Well, no, my message is that we should have, like, there are certain places where you have to have a change. I, I am not in favor of removing uh, all the vestiges of, uh, you know, colonial era. I mean, of course, I'm not suggesting you remove the India Gate because it does not, it's not about my, my people. It's about the people who serve the British Raj. Mm. Sh it should remain there. But then there are certain areas. We talk about symbolism. This is yeah. the heart of India's power. This is our, the seat of our democracy. How but can I, we, after there, 70 you know, years of independence, you know, retain I'm those... I'm sorry to interject, those? but just as a follow-up, Anuj, if you could answer that as a historian, uh, when there are claims that, you know, there are attempts to erase history, that whether we like it or not, this was a part of our history. Well, well in that case, I mean, we have, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, to, to, how can I, in this age and time, justify that we should have George's cross in our Navy flag? Hmm. How can it be justified? Just because Lord Mountbatten ordered us in 47, we should retain this in such a way, and we are still, till date, we are obeying the Mountbatten's order. And this question should be asked to those given cannot place his name was changed to, uh, you know, uh, uh, Rajiv Chauk. Where were these people? We have such a wonderful thing. We follow the British pattern. In England, the name of the airport is Heathrow Airport because the name of the village is Heathrow, where the airport was built. So we had a fantastic name, Palam Airport. Why have you named it Indira Gandhi? If you have to want to follow something, follow properly. We are following the British norms in every which way. So then might as well, you know, drop the names of all these airports after all these people. Let's go back to the Palam Airport days. Let's go back to the Connaught Place era. But then, you know, you, on one hand, you are demanding that Connaught Place's name should be changed to Rajiv Gandhi, Rajiv Chalk, and then you are having this problem, and we are only removing the name of the king. Nobody else. Okay, your message is clear then, that you're saying that they can't be selective in outraging over some name you changes. You cannot choose, you know, you have to be very clear. There are certain things, it, it, it hurts my ego, it hurts my, my national, sense of national pride. Hmm. Why should my country should have a, a foreigner? as a head of India's uh, military, like Air Force and Navy, after 55. Why should my intelligence bureau be reporting to England until 68? There are multiple questions. This is just the starting.